not disclose that information online. That's hard. What's going on everybody? David Andrew here from the Fung Bros. IKEA has just released their new IKEA Kama Sutra, which is a book full of positions for your bedroom. And we are out in LA and we're gonna be asking people what their favorite bedroom position is. Yo, Dave, I think uh, this could get kind of funny. Let's find out what people think about the IKEA Kama Sutra. Let's go. What is your favorite bedroom position? What? Nani? <laughs> What? What does that mean? What? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> Whatever feels right. What do you mean? What's okay. your favorite bedroom position? Are you really asking me this? In the bed with my head on the pillow. At my age. <laughs> <laughs> Have you answered that first? Spooning? Same. I don't know. Just on the bed. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Hey, we're getting freaky. We're getting freaky. <laughs> Start fishing. Just lay on your back and expand oh. your body. <laughs> Same. Ooh, it's hard. There's so many. Who's the bad girl? How to spank you? Oh god, that's like really personal. Uh, I I can't disclose that information online. That's hard. <laughs> Damn, you really hit it with that. I don't know what you guys were thinking. I was talking about bedroom arrangement. <laughs> This is about furniture, about how your bedroom is arranged. Oh, okay. <laughs> Facing the closet, two end tables. Okay, that's cool. Oh. Bedroom arrangement. Oh, okay. Oh, you used the word position, so you threw me off. Not sure what you mean. Oh, like where's your dresser, where's your bed? Oh, okay, my dresser. Shout out to spooning, though. <laughs> I like bed next to the wall, everything on the other side. Uh, bed against the wall, oh. perpendicular to the door, usually. Have you guys ever heard of the IKEA Kama Sutra? Is see that? Is that for real? It's a new campaign. Yeah, that's sick. The ultimate guide to bedroom satisfaction, complete with illustrations. <laughs> It actually does have its own Kama Sutra. Yeah. I think so. I know you see that. No. Yeah, I read through the whole thing. You're a master of the IKEA Kama Sutra. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> IKEA, you need to quit. So I'm gonna show you some positions in their IKEA Kama Sutra book, and then you let me know which one's your favorite. Tiger Bridge. Tiger Bridge. I like that. I like that. That's fun. I wouldn't mind a hammock in my room <laughs> with a tiger on it. I like the hammock. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a cool hammock. I know the hammock in the 90s, like the vintage style is good. It's cute. You can put your stuffed animals. I would like love that? a hammock in my room. Yeah. If I could fit that in. I like all the plants. Oh, that's me for sure. Tiger, tiger bridge. bridge. I kind of like that I actually. like the hammock. <laughs> Does a tiger come with it? So we have the beautiful behind. I connect with that one. I have a big behind. Seeing this, so like the closet is behind the walls where the bed is situated. Yeah, this is cool. Honestly, like I like how the closet is bigger than the bed because you know you gotta get that clothes, get those shoes. Well, honestly, I like the dark vibes because I feel like it really makes everything a lot more chill. A closet behind. Behind the bed. is always good. Yeah, because if you don't like to watch TV in bed, person of interest can hide behind the wall. <laughs> That looks pretty good. I feel like I should do that. Keep the front presentable and the back a little more messy. I actually really like the closet space because I feel like I have a lot of clothes. Like, are you putting your clothes in closets or you just got like outdoor? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's just a huge pile of clothing like this big in our place. Um, the climber. The climber. I'm, to, I'm passing that one. Bro, this brings back to like, you know, yeah, you that, bunk with your boys yeah, exactly. like overnight. So, like, climber? You gotta climb on that thing. Yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I experienced that when I was in the military. Yeah, sounds kind of fun. I like it. That looks pretty fun. Free up even more space. Uh, I actually have this bed, I, this exact bed from Ikea. I'm a formal climber. And then we got the doggy style. Oh, I know. Hey, hey, he's savory. That's the one. It actually has a little dog there. Yeah. She'd rather have the dog in the bed. Yeah, dog is welcome anytime. That's a classic. This is a classic. This is like what my parents' room would be like. Hey, that's the one. This is the one, one. one bro. This, this is the one. I don't yeah. I think this is more traditional, yeah. Um, it's brighter. I like it. Priya, Priya is staying away from liking the doggy style too much. <laughs> the doggy, doggy style. style. Oh my gosh! That's cute. I like like the opening and like how it's spacious. Ooh, a good one. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like, yeah. <laughs> I feel that's more my style, maybe not so much his. <laughs> the lotus flower, okay. There's a little kimono there hanging. That's cool, a little artsy. Oh man. Wanna try? Looks experimental, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seems really chill. Very calming and relaxing. Very simplistic, Asian style, I think. Japanese culture and there's like kimono on the back. I didn't even know that was a position. 
fans. <laughs> Frequent stacker. Right. I mean, good for friends. This is what you need because I'm going to be living in your house for a while. <laughs> we need this. I don't know. I like the overall theme. I think it's really peaceful. The glowing boudoir. Very dark, romantic. A little like Victorian esque. That's cool. Right. Kind of old school, but cool. <laughs> yeah. What type of person might like this one? Like an like, old rich lady from Mexico. Got, yeah. Oh, that's nifty. That's cool. Yeah, that'd be like a nice little like guest room design. Seated desire. I, I could deal with this. I like this. I this like looks it. like a cool New York hotel. I'm into that. Widely open. That's Don't. good. I like that. Yeah. I really do. Totally. I like a lot of space. And, and less clutter. Somebody who likes to be organized and doesn't like to shuffle through things. Your favorite position so far? I would say the beautiful behind. I like the seat of desire. Yeah. yeah? Of desire. Okay. okay. Really okay. I like the tiger bitch just because I'm a plants kind of girl. And <laughs> Seated with the bed and back. <laughs> so which one would you guys like to try? I feel like you let's can be, pick. Let's you be experimental. Pick. Let's go with this one, the Ooh. lotus flower. Okay. Beautiful, the beautiful behind. Okay. The, the wide open. I like a lot of space. I like to see everything. Tiger bridge, maybe. Mine. Tiger bridge. Widely open. Widely open. <laughs> the tiger bridge. The doggy style. The beautiful behind. Like honestly, you gotta stay true to the heart. You gotta yep. stick with the doggy. I think I'm gonna go with that one too. <laughs> yeah, the tiger bridge. I think I like the last one. The frequent stacker. I like the tiger bridge to be honest. I like with. the tiger bridge yeah. too. Tiger bridge. Yeah. Wow, you guys <laughs> decided on the same thing. Do you have any advice for people who are decorating their rooms? I think the IKEA, the website, they always have a lot of room layouts. Those are always fun to look at. And I would say the bedroom is where you spend most of your time, so definitely let your personality bleed out into the rest of the design, you know? You gotta have a nice, comfortable bed and just customize everything to how you like it. Oh, I have a really cool tapestry in my room. I feel like that really like ties the whole, whole room together. If it can't be seen, it's clean. <laughs> Never put a bed in front of a mirror. It's feng shui. Explain what, what is feng shui. It is a ancient art of positioning things in a lucky way. Always declutter. Have some nice, some nice sheets. Use crude colors, blacks, grays. I think uh, you have to, to keep it simple because minimalism always looks better. I think white is the new black. I'm talking about beds, so you gotta do it white. Could you give uh, any tips or advice for people? Fireplaces is nice. I don't know if they got those at Ikea, maybe. But now you can just put a fireplace on a, on a screen and stream a fireplace. I like mine simple with like a pop of color and femininity with some plants. I feel like people who make their bed every day, um, they're better at keeping habits, work, like work ethic wise or maybe something like that. Maybe I'm not what trying to be saying? mean. What, what, what Excuse me. <laughs> Ikea Kama Sutra helpful to look at different positions and think about it in that type of way. Yeah, for sure. Like, I don't want to be the creative guy. I want someone to do the work for me. So if that's cool, that's cool then. Yeah, I like visualizing. So if I see it, I want to do it. I think they were helpful and they were pretty funny as well. So this is a super clever idea by Ikea, the Kama Sutra room arrangement. What do you guys think about um, an Ikea Kama Sutra? No, it's super cute. I love it. Yeah, because when I was setting up my room, it was just like, where do I start? And with that, it'd be a real nice like starter. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching that video about the Ikea Kama Sutra. We got a lot of funny and interesting answers. My major takeaway is that people definitely are not used to the word bedroom positioning. Some people were really opening to talking about bedroom positioning. Some people really needed to warm up to the idea of talking about a place that, you know, maybe felt really personal to them. But once they did, everybody had a lot of thoughts. Definitely, it does help to put some thought into it because how you wake up in the morning and where you fall asleep, the vibes do matter and that's pretty much what a lot of people were saying today which one is your favorite ikea kama sutra position the frequent stacker i thought was a great way to accommodate additional guests while still being very space efficient my favorite is definitely the tiger bridge because i felt like that that had a whole new vibe to a room that i had never thought of having the hammock even calling it the tiger bridge that's just a cool name and finally my major takeaway from today is that the ikea kama sutra is truly inspiring people to create a space that satisfies their both physical and spiritual needs Again, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. In the comments below, let us know which IKEA Kama Sutra bedroom positioning arrangement is your favorite. So definitely check out the website link down below to go to the IKEA website and check out all the positions so that you can find one that you like. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that video. And we're the Fung Bros. Until next time, we out. Peace. And you guys are a couple. First date, yeah. First date. <laughs> Perfect. Great. I think this will help. Okay.